What's up, Xbox nerds? Another beautiful day. Yeah! It's Friday. <laughs> and the weekend is, is here already. People play Halo Infinite right now. Battlefield dropped today. But to me, uh, to me, Halo Infinite killed, destroyed Battlefield. You know, it destroyed, Halo Infinite destroyed ba Battlefield. Basically, Halo Infinite killed three birds with one stone. Killed three birds with one stone. It killed Battlefield, that's number one. It killed Final Fantasy and Walker. And it killed the Marvel Avengers with the Spider-Man DLC. The momentum that uh, Sony was trying to build, it's gone. Halo Infinite stole the show, stole the spotlight. <laughs> you know? Uh, and I'm still laughing at it, man, because, look, last Saturday, I think Saturday uh, that just went by, um, I was on the internet, and I think it was on Eurogamer. I was on Eurogamer, and it, the article, article came out that Halo Infinite, the multiplayer was, was will be available to Xbox players and people on the clouds and PC on Monday. So I'm like, huh? I'm like, this can't be a rumor. So I was reading the comments, and Mike, the people were saying that Microsoft didn't shut down the rumor. You know, the Microsoft didn't shut it down. So I'm like, okay. And then Monday came, and then the Xbox 20th anniversary, the show came out, and they showed off a lot. But then at the end of the show, 343 came out and said, okay, Halo Infinite is available now. Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and PC in the cloud to play. And that move right there, it stole the momentum from Battlefield. Because remember, 343 came out with Halo Infinite last year. And the Halo fans wasn't impressed because they're saying like, wait a minute, we got an Xbox Series X and this is Halo Infinite? So basically they told 343 take this thing back to the drawing board and work on it. And 343 did. And then 343 made an announcement and said, okay, December the 8th, that Halo Infinite is coming. So we're in the holiday season. And then I guess I guess 343 was like, okay, well, we're not well, we're not gonna have our fans sit there. We're not, we're not gonna have our fans sit through the Thanksgiving holiday season and don't have Halo to play. We're gonna make the multiplayer available before Thanksgiving so they can play it. And that's what they did. They stole the momentum from Battlefield. Battlefield dropped today, but Halo Infinite stole the spotlight. Multiplayer. People are on people are on Xbox One, Xbox One S, Xbox One X, Xbox Series X. Xbox Series S, PC, and they're all playing, plus on the cloud playing. Uh, 343 stole the spotlight from Battlefield. I mean, Halo Infinite destroyed Battlefield, stole the spotlight from it. Okay? Because remember, <clears throat> when, uh, remember, e remember, I told you that EA had the rights to the Star Wars universe they had this they had the rights of star wars so only they could make star wars right so they made battlefront one but then battlefront two ea decided to get greedy went off course and insert loot boxes to where people were paying for cosmetics right and that created a big uproar and then ea got even more bold instead of instead of ea like humbling themselves and say don't do this anymore they decide to go challenge Europe and then Europe put their put their foot down and let them know that they ain't going for it so while EA did that it took them off course so here comes Activision Activision and EA used to go toe to toe with Call of Duty and Battlefield so EA is in, the Euro in court fight in the European Union when they're really supposed to be making games so Activision is like, okay, well, I 
I guess since EA, EA, I guess EA is not interested in making Battlefield, we're going to keep making our Call of Duties. And what did Activision did? They dropped Modern Warfare, right? They dropped the Warzone. War, Warzone solidified them. Had, so, now, so now Activision is sitting in the, uh, in the throne like, what? Come get some. Then they, um, then they dropped uh, Black Ops Cold War. EA is nowhere to be found. So Activision now is up three games to one. Three three games to to three games to none. Because remember, EA is in court fighting Europe. So when the court situation was over, EA decided they were gonna sacrifice Anthem because they're trying to make up for lost time. So the Anthem fans ain't having it. And EA now decides they want to make Battlefield. So when they made the announcement, Activision dropped Call of Duty Vanguard. So now Activision is up four games to zero. So EA back is, backs is against the wall now because they because they really have to deliver with this Battlefield. And they were looking at the, the Thanksgiving weekend window. So everybody now thought that Halo Infinite is really coming out on December the 8th, but nobody saw what 343 was about to do. So EA now, they were looking at the um, the Thanksgiving window like, okay, fine. You know, fine. You know, uh, you know they're, they're looking at the Thanksgiving window with Battlefield like, fine. You know, we can build some momentum off of this, right? But nobody saw what 343 was about to do. So... Activision now, they're out with Vanguard, so they got four Call of Duties out. They're not affected. And here comes EA. They're trying to build a little momentum with Battlefield. And then here comes 343 out of nowhere and made the announcement that Halo fans can play the multiplayer on December the 5th, um, November the 15th. And what that did, since Battlefield came out on the 18th, on the 18th of November, it snatched the momentum from Battlefield. Snatched it. So now, Halo Infinite just just basically killed killed three birds with one stone. Not only that, uh, uh, Sony was trying to build some momentum with the Spider-Man DLC for the Avengers, plus Final Fantasy and Walker. But three, four, like Microsoft with three, Phil Spencer. And the entire Microsoft crew with 343 made sure that they got no momentum. So what they did was drop the Halo Infinite multiplayer this past Monday and snatch whatever <laughs> and snatch whatever momentum that Battlefield was trying to build, Final Fantasy was trying to build, and the Spider-Man DLC. <laughs> and that was one of the best chess moves I've ever seen in video games. <laughs> I still laugh at it till this day. I was like, I was like, wow, because because I, me, I play video games for years, and I understand this business pretty good, you know. So um, when I saw that chess move, what three four three be three four three just did, I just start, I bust out laughing because it was too funny, because you know, Battlefield EA with Battlefield thought they had a little momentum. Maybe they can build. A little momentum before Halo Infinite dropped, but 343 said, "No, we gonna we, we got we got a surprise for you guys. We're gonna drop the multiplayer on the 15th of November. Battlefield comes out on the 18th. So what that did was snatch the momentum from EA, Square <laughs> Square Enix." <laughs> EA, Square Enix, and uh, oh yeah, EA and Square Enix, basically. You know, so whatever mo whatever momentum Sony was trying to build, it's gone. Halo snatched it. <laughs> it was the biggest chess move I've ever seen. Look, it's the biggest chess move I've ever seen. Look, the Zenimax Bethesda deal. I can't. You cannot shake that. That's one of the best. Biggest deals I've seen in, in console gaming, and that and that is what you call a stealth stealth bomb or stealth stealth nuke. <laughs> but a 
stealth drop is what what 343 just did with Halo Infinite. With, with Halo Infinite and to snatch the spotlight from Battlefield. Snatched it. <laughs> snatched it from Battlefield. Snatched it from uh, F Final Fantasy and Walker. And snatched it from the Avengers. Because remember, when the Avengers came out, they, they had screwed up the uh, screwed up the game. Because most people that played the Avengers thought the game was going to be, most people like myself and others, they thought the game was going to be like DC Universe. And when you played the Avengers, you're like, wait a minute, in DC Universe, I can do all this, this, and this. But in the, in the Avengers, I'm limited. So I'm like, wait a minute, you mean to tell me I can't take Iron Man and Thor or the Hulk and get to the top of the Ames building? And that was one of the problems with the game. So, because the game is like in a top-down view. So, um, you know, um, Crystal Dynamics with Sony and Square Enix, they had screwed up with the Avengers. And then they turned around. And then they changed the leveling system in, in, in the Avengers. I remember, I remember I went on a raid mission and I was, it was just me by myself, but I took three bots with me. I think I had the Hulk, Iron Man, and um, I think a Cap I think Captain America. Or, and, and we were fighting the, t the Taskmaster. And I remember uh, when we were battling the Taskmaster, we weren't getting, getting enough power-ups. And Taskmaster <laughs> gave, us, gave, the, gave, gave me and the computer the business. So the game was kind of broken in some way and then right after that you know like crystal dynamics turns around again and then they want to charge the player for 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 charge charge a player for like cosmetics and like leveling up your characters so now the avengers is broken so what uh square enix did square enix now did since they have relationship with sony they came out and then they try to throw Crystal Dynamics under the bus. But then they wanted to use the Spider-Man DLC to build some momentum. <laughs> right? But 343 saw, saw, saw an opening and went for it. They dropped the Halo Infinite multiplayer uh, on the this past Monday. It stole the spotlight from Battlefield. Final Fantasy and Walker and um, the Spider-Man, the Avengers Spider-Man DLC. Microsoft rules December, so Halo Infinite really destroyed Battlefield, man. You know, Battlefield came out today, but a lot of people are playing Halo Infinite right now. You know, so whatever momentum EA was trying to build is not there uh, because number one, they went off course. And number two, they um, they they used like I told you, they used to go toe to toe with Call of Duty. It was always Call of Duty Battlefield, Call of Duty Battlefield, Call of Duty Battlefield. But the moment they made the loot box, they went off course, and that took them off. That, that took them. They, that took them in the wrong direction. So, and they're in court, so they're supposed to be they're supposed to be making games to keep up with Call of Duty, but they didn't. So what Activision did was drop, well, what, three Call of Duties? And then drop Vanguard after that? And then all of a sudden now EA is trying to come out with Battlefield, trying to build some momentum. So now your back is really against the wall because Activision is up four games to one. And they're sitting in the throne like, like what? Come get some. Like the king of military shooters. And I guess they thought, I guess EA thought, okay, we, we put Battlefield out on the 17th of this month, 18th of this month, which is today, and then we could build some momentum before Halo Halo Infinite arrives on December the 8th. But 343 said, uh-uh. We're going to drop the multiplayer on the 15th, <laughs> which was Monday. Today is the 18th. And stole the spotlight from Battlefield or whatever momentum they were trying to build. So basically, Halo Infinite rules November and December. And oh, oh, and let's not forget the Xbox TV app supposed to come out by the end of the by the, by December. Yeah. 
So, uh, <laughs> I'm still laughing. Halo Infinite really, um, really destroyed Battlefield. Stole the spotlight from it. Halo Infinite destroyed Battlefield. You know? And, um, yeah. Yeah. That, 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 that's a dagger when you really look at it because you're, you're supposed to be going toe to toe matching uh, Activision with Call of Duty. Speed for speed, stride for stride, tempo for tempo, blow to blow. Blow for blow. But you went off course. So you left Activision out, out there by themselves to make all the Call of Duties they want. So, uh, Call of Duty players are like, okay, what are you bringing to the table that that Activision didn't do? And they're up four games to zero. So here you come with Battlefield now trying to gain some momentum, trying to gain some spotlight. And Halo Master Chief is like, no, you're not gonna get, you're not gonna get the th you're not gonna get the Thanksgiving holiday season. We will, we will run this. <laughs> so, that's a, that was one of the best chess moves I've ever seen in video games, man. That's the best. That was one of the best chess moves I've ever seen <laughs> in video games, you know? So yeah, um, yeah, Battlefield is in a bad spot right now. You know, it, 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 I mean, EA is really trying to make up for lost time with Battlefield, all because of the loot box. Yeah, <laughs> I still laugh at that. I still laugh at what uh, three four three just did. I said, "Wow, that that that's one of the best chess moves I've seen in video games." You know, so basically, Halo Infinite right now rules November and December, Thanksgiving and uh, the the Christmas the Christmas holidays plus New Year's. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, Halo Infinite man destroyed Battlefield. It did. It did. <laughs> I'm sitting here laughing, man, because it's, it's so funny to me. I'm like, wow. But, you know, Call of Duty wasn't affected because they came out earlier. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but everybody knew how big Halo Infinite, Infinite Halo Infinite was gonna be, is going to be. And um, it was all about Billis trying to get some momentum. And then... 343 pull a he <laughs> pull a stealth move and said nope we will rule the Thanksgiving holidays and we will rule December period <laughs> end of story man so yeah uh, <laughs> that that is that is a chess move of, of that is one heck of a chess move man when you really look at it how they did it you know because they really had they really had what. Uh, they really had um, 15 to 12 months to work on the game. And they was going to release the, the game December the 8th, which they will release it, but they say, nope, let's make the multiplayer available. Let's make the multiplayer available so we can get some feedback and everything. And it worked. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, 343, man, is, is crazy for what they just did, you know, um, but yeah, but EA right now with Battlefield is trying to make up for lost time, and you know how the story goes, um, you can't make up for lost time, you know, Call of Duty ain't affected, they stayed on course, they kept making Call of Duties, and the amount of updates those Call of Duties got, whether it's Modern Warfare, let's not forget Warzone, <laughs> Then there's Black Ops Cold War, so yeah. In this get in this video game industry, you have to maintain your momentum, your edge, your speed, your tempo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah. Halo Infinite really did them. Halo Infinite took rules, uh, rules 2021, man. <laughs> yeah. Mm. What a chess move, man. Microsoft, Microsoft made sure, made sure they end 2021 with a bang and end it with a bang they did. <laughs> man, mm. yeah. So, yeah. 
Battlefield. Everybody's online right now. Some people are playing Battlefield right now, but a lot of people are playing Halo Infinite, you know? Some people are playing Call of Duty too, so yeah. <laughs> but Halo Infinite, Halo Infinite stole, <laughs> I'm trying to figure what, what to call this video, Halo Infinite steals 2021, <laughs> I don't know, or Halo Infinite killed Battlefield, Halo Infinite, man, yeah. And then there's a Forza Horizon 5 too, let's not, uh, uh, Forza, Forza Horizon 5 is doing damage too, so, oh, man, yeah. Xbox One wins 2021 hands down. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, <laughs> it's still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing for Dark Side. Uh, no. Peace.